ODU basketball fans got used to hearing Jack Ankerson belt out the name of Frank Cassell on a regular basis, and now with his college career behind him, a new beginning for Frank. I'm Brian Parsons. Bruce has the night off. They call him the tank. Frank Cassell, one of the most popular and successful players in Old Dominion history, has taken his game to the next level. Frank still on the roster of the San Antonio Spurs. Hassell was undrafted, but the Spurs scouts seem to like what they see in Frank. The 6'9 Hassell has been battling 6'11 Luke Zeller for a spot on the Spurs roster. And that almost seems hard to believe, considering ODU was the only college to offer Frank a scholarship when he was at Indian River High School in Chesapeake. It's like a dream come true. Um, you work hard and you wait so long for something and finally somebody give you an opportunity. It's a, it's a blessing. Before training camp, I knew it was a lockout and I just stayed in the gym and worked and worked and worked. Like I said, I was hoping I'd get the opportunity and I was getting my body and my mind ready to take this opportunity. So when I got here, I had one goal in mind, just make the team. Whatever I got to do, just do what I got to do to make this team. I knew I was physically ready, get my mind right, and I'm just focused on just making the team. In Frank's most recent preseason game with the Spurs, he logged 50 15 minutes, scored a bucket, had an assist, a steal, and two rebounds. Zeller, by the way, only played four minutes. The Spurs are a veteran team, so they could probably use some youth to give guys like Tim Duncan some rest during the upcoming shortened season. And as for Duncan, Frank admits to being a little awestruck around the future Hall of Famer. I kind of talked to my pops about it a lot. It's, it's kind of weird because growing up, he was like one of my favorite players. And I actually wore number 21 because of Tim Duncan. And uh, growing up, he's all I used to watch. My dad used to always preach fundamentals, backboard, and used to watch and study the way he plays, whatever. Next thing you know, I'm here playing against the guy, and it's kind of surreal a little bit. Then when I actually got on the court with him, he talked to me, um, taught me a couple of things so far, the plays and everything. Kind of eased my mind to him. He's actually a real, 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 real good guy. So. Did you, really tell, cool. did you tell him, hey, I looked up to you growing up? No, I'm not going to tell him that. I play against him in practice. I'm not going <laughs> to tell him that. <laughs> he don't, as far as he knows, I don't even like him. So, I mean, <laughs> but, yeah, I actually did look up to him. Still do. He's a, he's a wonderful guy. And, uh, like I said, it's a blessing just to be here. And I'm going to work hard and play hard every day. The Spurs roster currently has 15 players. The team is required to have no more than 13 players on the roster by opening night, which is Monday for San Antonio. If, if Frank does not make the final roster, San Antonio could send him to the NBA's developmental league for some seasoning before bringing him back up. And another local player we're going to be rooting for, Vernon Macklin from Portsmouth, the former IC Norcom star who finished his college career at Florida, was drafted in the second round by the Detroit Pistons. So good luck to Vernon as he tries to secure a spot in the Motor City. 